That mean we can get vaccines for things like cancer, for AIDS, for everything? Uh, not immediately, but the dream is yes. The, a lot of the funding for these mRNA companies is uh, for cancer-related vaccines. And part of the beauty is that even if the thing you're trying to attack in the cancer, you know, only a small number of people have it, it's so easy to, to change the instructions in the vaccine. You don't have to build a whole new factory and right. verify the factory. You just type those numbers in and hopefully the regulator sees, oh, you're just doing this small thing, go ahead. Particularly for cancer where the outcome, if you don't treat the patient, is very mm. poor. It's not healthy people that you're treating. And so when people look at uh, the three mRNA companies, CureVac, Moderna, BioNTech, that, that can, they each have cancer groups uh, that you know, they're excited about. They can also make uh, medicines that have been expensive, protein medicines like growth factors, and uh, they'll you know, try to do quite a few vaccines. So yes, it's a much easier way of making the vaccine because you tell the body to make the spike protein and then have the immune system recognize it and get ready to attack it as opposed to you actually stick the spike protein in and you have to do it on top of something right. and figuring out what that is you know is is kind of hit or miss and so the factory for mrna uh is pretty generic you know what pfizer you know they in a typical year before the pandemic made 200 million vaccines in a year the covid vaccine they made a billion and a half in the first year. Um, and so the scale up of that manufacturing, and as they did that, their cost per unit, right. you know, it starts at like 60 and is probably, they don't like to say, but probably below $5 at this point.